हरे कृष्ण डिटैचमेंट इज फाउंडेशनल फॉर इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस इज सम इज अ कंसेप्ट दैट इज बींग इंट्रीजिंगली टॉक अबाउट इन इन सोशोलॉजिकल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल सर्कल्स अर्लियर देर वॉज द आइडिया ऑफ आई क्यू इंटेलेक्चुअल क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ देर इज ई क्यू इमोशनल क्वेश्चन सो द आइडिया ऑफ द इमोशनल क्वेश्चन इज दैट पीपल सक्सेस डिपेंड इज नॉट जस्ट ऑन देर इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रोवेस बट ऑल्सो ऑन देर सोशल स्किल्स ऑन हाउ दे बॉन्ड विथ पीपल हाउ दे कैन वर्क विथ पीपल एंड हाउ दे कैन डू टीम प्लेइंग एंड देर बाय मूव ऑन वर्ड्स वर्किंग एज ए टीम बिकॉज we do have to network with others when we work in real life so for us as spiritualists <clears throat> so this is for people in general and for other spiritualists we ultimately want to connect with krishna and that is that connection is ultimately of devotion which is a emotion so emotional intelligence is required in both material and spiritual life and what does emotional intelligence mean it doesn't just at one level it means being sensitive to others you know be able to read properly how someone is feeling and then presenting our ideas or making our position or rephrasing or reshaping our positions accordingly but along with that there is also the uh, another aspect to to emotional intelligence and that is to know where to invest one's emotions and to know where not to invest one's emotions now our emotions are our resources uh they are they are of course very deep to us and usually we use the word resource for things external to us but still our emotions are resources in the sense that they they take energy and they are energy when we invest our emotion in something that consumes our energy and emotions themselves are an energy in the sense that when we uh, we become emotional about something we get energized substantially energized so now just as we check where if our if our cell phone is getting discharged very fast and we check what all are consuming what all apps are consuming its power so similarly we need we need to check where all our emotional energy is getting consumed and whether that investment is a wise investment that in the bhagavad gita krishna says to arjuna aratir anabhiswanga putradar graha dishu ityam ja samachit tattvam ishtan ishto papattishu he says that arjuna one should not be attached to one's uh, wife and children wife and and then one should be equipoised amidst when man gets desirable or undesirable things so ishtan ishto papattishu so now what does this mean now after hearing this krishna arjuna told krishna krishya vachanam to i'll do your will and it was not that arjuna neglected his wives or his children or he rejected them not at all he uh, very responsibly diligently protected their honor and provided for them so at the same time we see that dhritarashtra he also heard the same instruction so arjuna he <clears throat> when his son passed away abhimanyu was killed he was angry and he used his anger for constructive purpose to uh, to counter the adharmic forces which had atrociously killed that young virtuous young prince in uh, contrast we see that dhritarashtra was also attached to his son duryodhana and because of that attachment what did he do he because his emotions were invested in dhritarashtra so much he had no mental space no inner space to accommodate others and even those who were his well-wishers those whom he otherwise respected great sages even their sages he neglected their counsel he neglected and that's what caused this terrible fratricidal war krishna when he displays the vishwarupa he says that uh, how all those warriors are 
all the warriors are entering into his form so that destruction uh, arjuna says this so that destruction was caused by uh, dhritarashtra's failure to be detached so detachment is a strength and it enables us to be emotionally intelligent if duryodhan dhritarashtra had not been so emotionally invested in uh, in duryodhana then he would have been able to act more responsibly and avoid adharmic action uh, which was which essentially exiling the exiling the pandavas was highly adharmic so by recognizing the nature of uh, detachment detachment actually is not about becoming hard hearted but it is becoming about hard headed so that we can uh, become wise in choosing how we should be acting in our life where we should be investing our emotions and if we have if we are in a really if we are caught in a relationship where uh, we are being uh, ex- we are in a, basically durodhana exploited the trashtra attachment to him so if we are caught in a relationship where we are being exploited abused and we are simp- we are hoping for that person's uh, change but that person never changes and instead of we being able to rise help that person rise that person drags us down then we actually uh, need to create a distance in that relationship and we need to invest our emotions elsewhere so that we will be those emotions will be fulf- uh, that investment of emotions will be fulfilling and uplifting not frustrating and degrading so this sort of discernment which enables us to act to invest our emotions wisely that is emotional intelligence and that requires detachment so detachment is not uh, does not it does not kill our emotions rather it protects us from those things which which exploit and abuse our emotions so detachment is actually a great strength strength not just for spiritual purposes but strength for emo- even for the point of emotional satisfaction and emotional growth in our lives thank you hari krishna